All right, so we're back out here again. Uh, yesterday when I was out walking the field here, uh, we had just had some rain, and the rain typically will uh, excite the ants in the ground and get them to come on out. Um, if you've done any research on these ants, they go down in the ground a number of feet, uh, depending on the size of the colony. Um, now there is an old farm trick which I'm not going to use here today, but I'm going to talk to you about it. If you have two different anthills in two different locations, um, we do here, but I have a feeling that these are probably a related colony. Um, as you may know, ants live in a colony and their prime objective is to feed and protect the queen. So, um, they have a series of different duties within the ant colony. Some are killers, some are feeders, some are breeders, and each one of them has a different function. Um, there are basically ant soldiers that will try to attack anything that comes near the queen. So, the old farm and ranch trick that was taught to me by a very old gentleman who has been using this long before any of these chemicals came around. Take a shovel full of ants from one mound, and let's say these are two different colonies. Take a shovel full of ants from this mound, and at the same time, take another shovel and shovel full of ants from this mound. Take the ants from this mound, throw them on this one. Take the ants from this mound and throw them on that one. They will essentially kill each other off. Uh, the colonies will go into a fight mode to try to protect the queen and in turn they will eventually kill each other off and they will get to the queen and they'll kill her off too. Uh, but for today's purposes we're going to go back to something that we've used in the past here and I've talked about is the old Andro. Quick kill. Now they do make uh, an ant hill product that you buy in a much smaller bag. Um, it's I think it's a two pound, maybe three pound bag, maybe about this big. Uh, but this is a, a larger 20 pound. This is more of a broad spectrum insecticide. Um, <clears throat> as you can see down here, it does cover ants, grub worms, fleas, cockroaches, and 100, 100 other insects. Now there's a there's another product out uh, by Ortho. I think that one covers 300 insects. Uh, but this one has a, has a tendency to work a little bit better with what we've got going out here in South Central Texas. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. Now again, we got the gloves as you saw in a previous video and my trusty coffee can. So I'm going to go ahead and put a glove on here. And we're going to throw some of this on top. Now typically once you get this Amdro on there, you're, you're going to want to come back over it and water to try to run that stuff down in. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just like let the natural dew take care of it. So I'm going to go ahead and take my can here, which I've already got some in. And, and you can probably see these ants crawling around on top of the hill. They're going to go nuts once I start putting this on. So we're just going to lay down a layer. I'm going to try to cover Here's what I talk, talked about having long sleeves on. And now I got to dig down in here. And get myself another sample. Alright, there we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna sprinkle this all around. Now obviously you don't want to breathe this stuff. So make sure you're upwind of it. Now uh, you can see the ants are all scurrying. They're like, uh oh, we're in trouble. Okay, let's get another load here. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead. And you can see the hole right there. Go ahead and cover this all up. And they're going nuts. They're running around. Alright, there we go. And that's about what it takes. Um, get that hill covered up. Now I got another one over here. Let's go right ahead and do that one while we're out here. Give us a can of insecticide here. And we're gonna go after this hill. 
get on top. We get a little hill here, another one here. I'm gonna. I can see where they're starting to move out. Can you see that? Along here, they're building up another trail. They're just gonna go right along that trail. All they have to do is get this stuff on them, and it'll kill them. So I'm gonna work from the outside. In the light. Way all the way around, and now I'm just gonna go very, very lightly over the top of this. It doesn't take a whole lot, I'm just gonna go real light. People think you gotta completely cover this, but this stuff actually dissolves. Uh, so, we're gonna get another scoop here. Try and leave us up a little bit in case of emergencies. Sometimes these hills will pop up close to the house and we'll take care of those right away. So, same thing, we're just gonna give a little light dusting. And where I see holes like in this situation, or right in here, I can get down in them holes. Alright. So I'm hoping. This will eradicate them. I'm sure it will. It usually does. A lot of times the morning dew is enough to dissolve that product in the ground. And it will get you um, the desired effect. So, there you go. Another tip for those of you thinking about doing something like this. Be prepared to run into um, ants as another one of your adventures. Uh, we consider them adventures, not hardships. Um, having done this for a number of years, we still run into things that uh, we've never seen before. <laughs> uh, so, with that, I'm going to leave you and uh, remind you we'd like you to subscribe, uh, pass along any information that you think is useful to your friends, relatives, neighbors. Uh, if you're finding anything useful and would like to help support the channel, we have a Teespring account down in the description where you can pick yourself up a nice t-shirt related to the channel. Uh, we also have a Patreon account set up for anyone who would like to make a one-time or monthly donation, even dollar, two dollars, whatever you'd like to do would help. Uh, keep these videos coming to you. Uh, it takes, takes some time for us to edit, add music, um, go through the whole process of getting these things online. So if you are getting anything out of it, we'd hope that you would in turn reciprocate. So once again, thanks for stopping in. Um, I'm going to head uh, back in and uh, take a look at what other kind of projects we got around for today. It's a little bit cooler out today. I think we're only going to hit about uh, 90, 90, 90 today, roughly. Uh, out here in the country, it tends to get a little bit warmer, get a lot of open space. Uh, but um, another fine day out here in South Central Texas. So again, thanks for stopping in, and we'll check you on the next time around.